you have to like understand all the scales for jazz and stuff. However, I have to understand everything like a child. So if I'm working on on a tough improvisational concept and I'm trying to think of like all these crazy modes and these different things like that, it's toast. It, it'll never happen. And first of all, it'll never happen for anyone that way. So I have got, I have to get concepts down to like their smallest, um, to, the, to a manageable point. So for example, um, I'll give two of them. So you brought up the altered scale. Like I don't even, I don't think about the altered scale ever. I know what it is, you know, but I just think about melodic minor scales. And I have just sort of trained myself that if I hear a certain sound, you know, I know which melodic minor scale to do that. Now that took some time, but I don't, if you're still at that step, you're like somebody's, somebody plays a B altered and you're like, cool, uh, it's the C melodic minor scale starting on the seventh. It's like, well, okay, it's already gone, you know? But if you hear that and you just know what that is. So to me that that's the point of just like, Whereas I always think the problem with that scale stuff is that you're thinking about this and you're not thinking about this. And what I mean by that is you're thinking about what you're on versus where it's going. All dominant chords are going somewhere. So if you know where it's going, what you're talking about over here, you just have to figure out how to, how to resolve it. So if you take whatever the, the sound of the altered scale is, if you just learn that if you take B7, let's say it's a resolving to E minor, okay? If we take all of B7, the basic one where you have like, you know, we're just B7 and the way it would resolve to E minor, and then you start putting in more complicated thing on top of that. So whether we're talking about diminished or fully altered, you know, or even, you know, flat nine, natural 13, whichever, each one of those is a different flavor. So you have to then just figure out how you resolve those. That to me was so much easier to, to do than ever thinking about like the modal stuff. I just think that that's important. The only time you're ever gonna, that, that would come into work is if, let's say I wrote, here's my new song called B7 Altered, and it's just gonna sit there for a long time. Okay, well then, yeah, you are gonna just play the scale sounds over and over again, in which case, yeah, you can just be thinking about the C melodic minor scale or if you really want to learn it the other way. But I think those modes of melodic minor and the same thing with diminished, like this isn't something I just have real pet peeve with because I don't think it's helpful. Is like, you know, people talk about the diminished and the dominant diminished, right? So it means whether or not you're starting with the half whole arrangement or the whole half. I don't do any of that. I just play diminished scales. So there's just the diminished scale and it's just... You just know which note to start it on. Because the dominant diminished, like, yes, you wanna be able to do that, but like if you play the dominant diminished scale like in eighth notes, like over um, over uh, like a bar, it's like, it doesn't work out right. You're like outlining the wrong chord. If you just realize that like on a B flat seven, if you want to play the diminished sound, you just have to just train your to just start from the flat nine, in which case you're playing the B diminished, then the notes line up the right way. Plus, you, if you're thinking about the like the scale arrangement stuff, you're usually just gonna play a bunch of stuff that doesn't relate. If you're just getting used to like this is the sound of the chord, and now I want to resolve that. Now you just know how to access the diminished sounds on that. And if you just know that it's all from the flat nine and it's that diminished, the stuff works out great. Should you be able to play every scale starting on every note? Yes, I think that that's an important skill, but I mean, in terms of like, you know, whether you you know that it's like, oh man, this, uh, you know, the third mode of melodic minor makes, you know, this augmented major, it's like, well, okay. I mean, you could also just think about like, you know, I mean, it's cool up to a point. I just don't, I think it's, it's, you're better off kind of like learning how like, you know, you have a sound and then like what, how do you respond to that sound quickly? And instead of it just being like, that's the sound, oh, that's this mode. Cause it, it, it also doesn't have to be that mode, you know? And there, 
because there's other ways to to do it too and i i think outside of static sounds i just don't think it works because usually what you end up with is somebody who just sweeps sounds when they happen as opposed to connecting it so even if we're going to get into an instance where like that comes up you know it's like the the major sharp five okay i mean is it really that third mode of melodic minor or is it just the major scale now had the raised fifth or does it have both does it have is that really a flat six sound you know like you can because one isn't really more right than the other and actually it's kind of like i think if you're thinking more melodically driven about that kind of stuff you're less inclined to even obsess about that stuff and just go with the thing that that fast tracks getting to that sound and the stuff like with the diminished is a great example because it's like you know yes you have to be able to play half whole whole half but why learn it is being something different you know it's like just if you're playing b diminished you know which is also d diminished f diminished a flat diminished which is also b flat dominant diminished d flat dominant diminished e dominant diminished g it's like or you could just know that 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 like train yourself that's like those go over those right and then if you can just if you can play them all whole half and half whole which you need to be able to do then accessing them you'll you'll be fine i think it's more the the separation of the two and trying to line them up that way is really the dumber one this has been joe Policastro for player to player if you enjoyed this video please remember to like and subscribe